guys, it's Shauna J. Ray. I have a video for you, something that a lot of people have asked me to do. I've been curious about myself as well. I am going to be blow drying and straightening my hair today. It is summer and I did not want to do it in summer, but winter was hectic. I didn't have all the things that I needed. But in this video, it's going to be my first time straightening my hair and I think about I want to say like three years, I did blow it out I think last year, but I haven't blown it out, straightened it, or tried to attempt and if you guys know me, I don't do straight hair, I do it maybe once a year, that's like really exaggerating now, especially with two kids, but I don't really care for straight hair on my, well it's more like I don't want to do it, I mean I don't mind it every now and again. <laughs> But yeah, I don't want to do my hair straight all the time, but I do like to do it every couple of months to a year. And I'm so lucky to be able to have uh, some things to review, so this is going to make it a little bit more interesting for me because I've never tried all but one of these products. So I'm going to show you guys right now what I have to work with today, and then we're going to hop in the shower. We're going to wash and condition my hair with these products. and. Then we're going to step out. I'm going to do everything right here. It gets very hot in the bathroom. So I'm going to come out here and do it that way. I can have the fan on. And lighting is way better out here anyway. So I'm going to show you guys what I have to work with. So of course we're working with brushes. Um, I have two brushes. Dimden brush. This brush is from Michael Mercier. It is more along the lines of like a tangle tweezer. It's got like really short bristles. But um, when I was playing with the idea of straightening my hair, doing the chase method with this, gives me a little bit more grip. This is for more like a detangling, kind of getting the section ready and then straightening it. I'm going to be doing a review on these products right here. Well, this is the first product that I have to review. It is by Vegan Serenity. And I will link everything in the description. So first I'm going to be shampooing my hair with their shampoo, their smoothing shampoo, sulfate, paraben free, 100% vegan, heat wave technology. This mask right here by them, it is their intensive mask, treat, uh, intensive treatment mask, restructures and, re and moisturizes, paraben free, 100% vegan, uh, nutritive cascade technology with avocado oil and shea butter. So I've actually used this mask one time before. It gave me a lot of slip and it left my hair very, very soft. So I'm hoping that I will get that once my hair is straightened as well with this product. Then to top it all off, they have a Shine Therapy uh, Paraben Free Heat Wave Technology. So I'm gonna be using this on top of everything to seal in all the moisture and hopefully keep my hair somewhat Straightened. That's another reason why I don't really care for straightening my hair because a lot of times, one, I don't like to have it bone straight because a lot of times that means you've had your iron on high heat and you've damaged your hair. I've never had heat damage except for the time that I actually turned up one of my flat irons all the way up to 100 and I think it goes up to 150 on my old flat iron or somewhere in that range and that piece of hair never curled again in the middle of my hair. So that piece was heat damaged, but I've never gone over about, I think 410, and that seems to be a good sweet spot. Uh, 450, if that's good for your hair, then keep doing what you're doing. But if you see at the end, it's not bone, slick, straight, bear with me, because that's, that's as, as good as it gets. Next on the product list, I wanted all, uh, to try a wrap, a foaming wrap lotion. Um, I saw another YouTuber use uh, foaming wrap lotion in their styles. So just in general I wanted to get some but I also wanted to just put a little bit in my hair to hopefully hold a little bit better hold as well because my hair is very very thick. Also my last but not least actual hair product is the Cantu Shea Butter Leave-In Conditioner Repair Cream. I got this from Sally's. This thing is gigantic and I love it because I actually usually buy about two of these and use it between all of us. I prefer the one with the argon with the argon oil, uh, but I used to use this one in the past, so I just use it. So for the styling tools, I have got finally I really wanted this because I thought it would look great. This. We're gonna be using this little buddy right here, and it's gonna be the first time on my hair. And last but not least, in my styling tools, I'm going to be trying out the Swan Star 
steaming hair straightening tool. Steaming thing. I'm not going to be using this this steaming part today because I want to try it without the steam. And then um, I am going to try it another time with the steam. I feel, so I thought this was really cool. I needed a new flat iron. My old flat iron is probably like 10 years old already. So I was so happy to be gifted this to review and I'll see how it holds up to the test. This is such a long video. Like I said, this is going to be my first time on blowing and straightening my hair on camera. Go wash my hair and put those products in it. My, my, these products right here. And then I'll come back on camera and I'll start blow drying my hair in sections here and there. And then we can see how it all does.
Okay guys, I wanted to show you the full blowout. I'll just do a little turn for you guys. That is my full blowout. Obviously like you can't even, can't even tell length too much because my hair is so fluffy. But I wanted to take all the twists out and show you guys what it looks like all massive and out. And now you guys know why I don't do this to my hair very often. So I wanted to just talk about everything before I moved on to the straightening. I wanted to give my full review on everything here. I love how this blowout came out. Okay, I want to start with the products. Okay, so one thing I switched up doing is at the this this oil product tells you to use it on damp hair. Not a good idea for me. My hair takes forever to dry by itself. So this was actually making it take even longer when you see I started the, the back end um, with my hair. It really took a while for you know it to dry. So what I started doing is one pump on one full section of hair. So one full twist would have one pump of this because one pump on one piece of hair was kind of leaving what my hair felt like a little dry and crisp, like crispy when it was drying. So only one pump on this. I really like this. Like I said, I've been using this for a while. And then this, I only used one pump per section as well because I don't know, I feel like it's, it is supposed to be a styling, a, like a styling mousse or a, for wraps, like a foaming wrap lotion type of situation, foaming wrap lotion. So I didn't want to put too much of this. I just wanted it for a little extra hold, but in all that seemed to go really well. It doesn't smell like anything. I didn't mind it. It went on perfectly. This, I have to say I absolutely love because it's first off it smells amazing I don't I don't know what the smell is it's like sweet and flowery it just smells really really nice my hair doesn't smell fried um, this I like I said I added this after it was kind of dry um, if I added it to like moistened hair like pass it over a few times and then add this but when I added it after those two things it would feel um, before I added this my hair was feeling a little drier so I put a little dollop of this on my hand and rubbed it through then blow dried it my hair felt so soft like right now it's so soft and fluffy and it's not getting ridiculously huge I mean this is this is it's huge but it's not getting any bigger than this so I really I really really like this like I said I used the the shampoo the shampoo felt like most shampoos to me it isn't one of those shampoos that dries my hair out I do feel it in the shower. My hair didn't feel dry. It also it also didn't feel like it was going to dry it out and it lathers really really well. Like you don't need a lot and it lathers amazing. The the ma the mask is really really good. It makes your hair soft and left. For my hair, my only issue with the shamp the the mask is that it, there is not enough for my hair. That's my only complaint about it. This is my favorite stuff. I'm probably going to start using this as a regular styling pro product just in general because one like I said it smells amazing and it's got all these like really good oils in it so it's supposed to provide moisture and thermal protection so I think just in general or any blow style hairstyle that I do I'm definitely using this and again my only issue is it's really small now I am gonna add a little bit more as I press my hair um, just to really coat it and it's not greasy I do have to admit to it's also not greasy I can't it's like a serum I guess if you've ever used any type of serum to press your hair out how it's not greasy or oily it's just it just kind of sits on top of the hair and it feels really really good so I love that because usually I'm used to like coconut oil caked up in my hair and like making it all disgusting so I really like this this is a plus oh my gosh I wish they had a bigger bottle. Hopefully they will open up and have like a larger bottle just for, you know, people like me. But I didn't use a lot, I have to say. So far, I have only used it to here, a very small amount. Like I, I said, I don't heat style my hair very often. So this will last me a while, but I'm, I'm just kind of, I guess, being greedy. Now, for our first heat styling tool, I had to just clean it out because, you know, that wasn't so bad though, but I have been detangling my hair more regularly, so I didn't have as much as much shedding. But this thing on my hair, this has lived up 
to my expectations. Definitely, definitely. I had the idea that I was going to be able to, uh, basically I, I used to use paddle brushes in the shower all the time. Paddle brushes work on our curly hair. I have any issue, um, but it combs through perfectly, doesn't pull my hair up, didn't hurt, didn't bother me. It was just easy, just like brushing my hair. It was literally like just grabbing the brush and brushing my hair. And it gets really, really hot. It gets extremely hot if you just obviously like hold it, just like any blow dryer. Um, it only has three settings, cool, low, and high. And I used it on high. It was, it, it dried my hair and I don't think it would, I would say no more than an hour and a half it took to dry all of my hair. I, I already know that I'm gonna be doing a lot more styling with this, you know, more stretch styles with this. This lived up to my expectations. It is $30 well spent, so happy. Now I'm gonna get on to actually straightening my hair and I'm gonna do a first, a, a full length check if I can get it straight enough. Like I said, I don't usually like have my hair super, super straight, but I haven't trimmed my hair in about a year. On top of the fact that I have a massive amount of fairy knots and split ends, as you can see, my hair also isn't very even because I don't straighten my hair to care. So I just clip it, but I'm gonna try and get through the whole straightening process and then do a length check for you guys for both of us because I don't know how long my hair really is but I'm gonna do that and then get back on here and tell you how I like that straightener Okay guys, I'm done. Okay, so first let me just talk about, okay, you see how fluffy my hair is, right? So this is my straight hair and I usually don't get it any straighter than this and I am okay with that because I do love volume anyway, but you can see a bit of length here if we do a little length check. All right, so the side front comes to about the, the breast area right here. Little back check. I'm trying to show you guys and not like tip my, my head back too much. But you can see that it's like where my bra strap would be. To the front, because I don't know because I know my front is a bit choppy so the front part of my hair and plus I've like cut layers and sort of cut layers in my hair before so the front is always a little bit shorter but look this side is even shorter also I had a I don't think it you can see it anymore but I used to have 
a blonde patch right there and I cut it so that side's shorter than the other. Woo, it is warm. Okay, so let's talk about it. So I did put a little extra of the serum in my hair as I went along my hair and my hair feels super, super soft. Now it doesn't have like that like super silky like flow to it because like I said I don't put my my iron up very hot. I started at 310, I'm sorry, I started at 370 and then I went up to 410 um, at the end of it and it did seem to keep it a little bit, a little bit flatter. I'm in a cool room and my hair I feel sweaty because I'm just not used to having this much hair all over my face, all over my body. So that's, I'm pretty sure that's why. But it got straight enough for my liking. I'm pretty sure if I would have put it on uh, 430 or 450, it probably would have gotten even straight, like flatter and you know, down. But like I said, I'm scared of heat damage, so I don't bother with those things. I am going to do a little um, trim. I wanted to do the length check first and then trim it but when I usually straighten my hair and I need a trim I straighten a patch and then like I said I don't really care about the evenness factor so I'll just see where it kind of needs to be clipped I'll cut it and then I'll feather any other split ends or whatever around it so yeah that's basically my straightening routine I it took me overall about three hours to do everything and like I said if your hair is not as wet especially if it's not as thick as mine I think you, you can get through your hair in about half an hour I think most people got their hair through a half an hour uh, maybe there's just like I just need to play with it a little bit more and you know it'll be faster um, but overall love the brush love the serum let me talk to you guys about this flat iron now of the um, four I believe four sh flat irons that I've owned in my life, four or five. I love this one. Just a few simple things, like I'm one of those people that is like, it's the little things that matter to me. So I'm gonna just tell to you like, guys, earlier I told you the whole locking mechanism here, love that. I know it sounds like really stupid, but like I need to be able to close it and not have it just flapping around, I don't know, it's, I'm weird. So we'll start with the top. So in the top it has a locking feature right here. Uh, unlock and lock to pop this little key this little piece out so you can fill it with your fluid and it, they give you a little bottle that comes with it so like I said I didn't use any fluid in here next time I'll try it who knows I might get my hair a lot straighter uh, let's see it has little rubber grips right here on the end and if it doesn't have a little rubber grips, we all know that the plastic gets really, really hot because if you touch any part of the plastic over here, it gets really hot. But that's good for when you're curling or pulling the hair down, um, the little rubber grips. So it's like, like I said, little things. It's got a little, uh, little lip right here for the part where your finger will rest. So it's, you know, like very comfortable right here. So then when we open it up, I just wanna go over the overall. So I guess these little buttons in the middle Y'all can see that really well. Go for the spraying part of the the steam misting part. So that's out of the way. My hair didn't get caught or anything on that. I was worried about that. So then this I really, really like because on my other flat iron, the buttons are on the side. And when I'm straightening my hair, I tend to hit the buttons and the thing is going all over the place. I also like that it's um, the little lights instead of like a switch or anything like that. Like I've had like curling irons with a switch. This one has buttons with well, with well uh, illustrated numbers on the front of that, so you can see what it is. So it has a power on and off button. It has a plus and minus sign for going up and down. I think my other one has like a switch, I think, as well. And then on the bottom, it has a little turn for your steam. So it has off, light, and high for your steam. So I had it on off, so no steam was coming out. So, or no, it wasn't, ma uh, that mechanism wasn't triggered. And then it has this little rubber grip here. This rubber grip is where my finger automatically rests. It's the size of my thumb. And that sounds really small, like a small detail, but it actually helped a lot because one, my grip was better because I had the lip here and the grip there. But also when you put it, I'm not on a table right now, but it would rest on that little rubber part and not the hot part. 
but yeah so overall I like this um I think anybody that wants to straighten their hair like straight straight definitely have to go up uh, but it was fast I have to agree that it was like super fast for me to straighten my hair so that's my review on this little device um, I'm glad to add it I'll probably be straightening my hair like more than once a year going forward so I will link everything in the description below so you guys if y'all are interested in this flat iron as well it will be in the description box and when I have my hair blown out or straightened all I do is uh, braid it down or put in little bantu knots like gi giant bantu knots like three four bantu knots sometimes just one um, that's how I'm gonna sleep in it tonight I am going to trim my hair in a second but first just look at my hair I just 